You can see that this user has a dual monitor setup. I'm going to cover the toolbar at the top here, and on the View tab, you can see that both machines are visible from here. So if you want, you can view one screen individually. Or if you have multi-monitor, you can pop those windows out so that you can have a full multi-monitor experience as if you were right there in front of that machine. Other options include uh, reduced quality in case you're having a connection issue. You can also adjust for zoom. And if you're connected to a terminal server, you can switch users directly from here. Moving over to the Essentials menu, you can send Control-Alt-Delete to that machine. This works excellent for elevating UAC prompts. You can also send clipboard keystrokes, which allows you to send any text that has been copied to your clipboard as keystrokes to your session. You can also reboot and reconnect to normal mode or safe mode. You can prompt the user for storage of their credentials and then send it to the screen at a later date or say, for example, if they're not there and you're working in the evening time to reconnect to that machine. You can share your desktop with that user in case you need to uh, annotate or show something on your end. You can also suspend your input um, to maybe monitor that machine. You can block guest input and you can blank the guest monitor. The toolbox is an excellent option for you from ConnectWise Control. Allows you to store scripts or additional commands that you want to run, even some small files. That way, while in session, you're one click away from running those. You can also set up a shared toolbox or personal toolbox. That way, your users can run their individual toolboxes without cluttering the main toolbox. File transfer can be done a couple different ways. One is from right up here in the toolbar. You can send or receive files from here. You can also just as easily drag and drop files from your desktop to the other. And as I had said earlier, you can right click and file transfer from the menu. You can screen capture from here. You can also initiate a record of that session manually and store it locally on your machine. You can also adjust sound if you're utilizing VoIP. You can view the participants in the connection. You can annotate from here, so you can draw or you can allow even the guests to draw to show you an example of an issue or point to something. And this is also where you would initiate chat. The chat window will appear and look like this. You can also use the helper to make quick searches in Google or Bing, and the uh, user will not see this. This will help you to quickly research something if you're in session working on something. And then the status is going to show you the connection activity currently. To close the session, you'll want to reach over to the X in the upper right-hand corner, and now you're back to the home screen.